Tell me when you read. From, from we fled. Why we fled here in yeah. Africa. 2,000 years ago, when the Romans came here, they destroyed the temple in 70 AD. Okay? Yes. And when they destroyed the temple, they were brutalizing and murdering Hebrews from the tribe of Judah. So, in order to escape that slaughter, we fled from Israel into Africa, and most of us ended up on the west coast of Africa after 1,000 years, and then we were sold into slavery into the Western Hemisphere. Okay, now, but we were not sold into slavery because the European was stronger than us. We were sold into slavery because our forefathers violated the commandments that was given to them by Moses. When Moses took us out of Egypt, we were in the wilderness 40 years. And why did it take us 40 years to get from Egypt to Israel? Because the adults, all of them died in the wilderness. It was the children of the adults that went into Israel with, Jer with uh, Joshua and Jericho. Only two adults lived out of Egypt in order to go into Israel. That was Joshua and Caleb ben Yifuneh. Two adults. The, the rest of them people that went across the Jordan River, those were the children of the adults because the adults were very hard-headed and stiff-necked. They did not want to obey the instructions of Moses. Therefore, they rebelled and when they rebelled against Moses, the Holy One of Israel took them out. All of them died in the wilderness. Remember, it was over 600,000 men came out of Egypt. May you hear what I said? 600,000 men died in the wilderness because they was hard-headed. Just like Israel is today. Yes. Just like Israel is today, hard-headed. Same people that was with Moses is the same people that was with Benjamin. Ain't no new people here. Because other than that, you would think that when somebody was born 2,000, 3,000 years ago, but if they followed the instructions that was given to them about anointed individuals, you don't die like that, babe. Chaim is plural. Yes. Chaim, that's plural. That means that if I maintain my loyalty to the Yah of Israel and to truth, this body may go back to the dust of the earth, but my spirit will continue yes. to reincarnate. Yes. You got to hear what I just told you. So, we must understand that after we fled, we gone. The next people that is established here is the Nabataeans. The Nabataeans, they were a mixture of Greek culture and Roman culture. Then after the Nabataeans, the Arabs came in. The Arabs came in from Turkey and Saudi Arabia. They came in in the 11th century. But the Crusaders, these were Christians from England. They came here and declared a religious war against the African Palestinian. They called it the Crusade. The Crusaders won a couple of battles, but most of the battles they lost. And Saladin, Saladin, gave them an opportunity to live here in Israel and intermingle with North African tribes people. So when you come to Israel today, you see two colors of Arabs. You see the black Arab and you see that light-skinned Arab. But that light-skinned Arab is a mixture of European Crusaders and African Palestinians from the 11th and 12th century. 
That's why they got that light color because Europeans married North African tribes people and North African tribes people, the, the brothers took these European women as wives and they intermingled. And now you got this Arab with our hair and he's not white like the European, but he's a mixture between European Christians and African Palestinians. Do you hear me? Maybe. Hmm. Listen. Oh. She is uh, recording. Yes. Now, we're going to get out here. I'm going to explain to you why there's no tree. <coughs> Huh? Go close, baby, so you can see all of that.